Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS or 2DS on firmware version 11.11 .11 for free. I've not made a new YouTube video in quite a bit, but don't worry, I'll be making new videos soon. So to be the first to see my new videos, click that subscribe button and then the bell beside it to be notified when I make a new video. This video works on all 2DS and 3DS consoles and it can't damage your console either. What you'll need is an SD card, a PC, add an SD card reader for your PC, as well as an internet connection for your PC and 3DS. But if you don't have a PC, you can actually use your phone instead. I have a video which shows you how to install Homebrew by using your phone. So if you choose to watch my older video on that, just make sure to replace my old version 11.10 with the new version 11.11. .11. To watch that video, click the I in the top right hand corner now. Keep in mind that if you have a new 3DS or new 2DS XL, you can copy files wirelessly over your home network from your PC to your 3DS. And if you need any help with any of the steps in this video, or if you can't get Homebrew to work, feel free to ask on my Discord server. The link to that is in this video's description. To stay up to date with my channel, you can follow me on Twitter or visit my channel's community tab. Just tap my channel name, then tap community, and you can see all the posts I've made as well as comment on them and vote in polls, so I'll see you there. But now, let's get started, and remember to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. First of all, open up system settings and check your firmware version. Yours will be shown in the bottom right corner of the top screen. Your firmware version should start with 11.11. .11. If your starts with 11.7, 8, 9 or 10, this will also work for you. Write down your entire firmware version because you will need it later. What we're going to do next is open up the Nintendo eShop because we're going to download a free game from there. With Homebrew you can install Homebrew apps like tools, utilities, emulators and lots more. I'll link two of my emulator videos at the end of this video. Once the eShop's loaded up, tap the search bar and type in Sub Wars like I am here. Tap OK and it should take you to this game here, but this isn't the right one actually, because it has an update in the title. We're going to scroll this way and look for this game here. This one's the one we want. As you can see, I have downloaded this game before, but don't worry, this game is free, it's actually just a demo. Once it's finished downloading, head back to the home menu and then open your new game. When you try to open the game, you should see this message. Do not update the game, because if you update the game, Homebrew won't work later when we go to install it. Make sure you press A to open the game without updating. If you update your game by mistake, then check the video description. I have a video explaining how to remove the update right there. Once you open the game without updating, you should see this screen. Let's tap the screen and then tap OK. 
Select a me, then press the A button. Then return to the title screen by hitting the B button. Now close the software and head over to your PC. In your browser's URL bar, type in 3ds.console.guide and you'll be taken to the 3ds page on my website. Find this video right here and we'll start by clicking the boot file button. On this page, download this boot.3dsx file and save it to your desktop. Next, click the steel hacks button and then click this download button right here and then save this file to your desktop. Now click the brute force movable button. The next file we'll need will be processed by bruteforcemovable.com. You can help bruteforcemovable.com by processing other people's files on your PC. And the more files you process, the higher you'll get on your leaderboard. Once you've read this message and consider becoming a volunteer, click the continue button. Now we're going to find our friend code and enter it into this box. To find your friend code, head over to your 3DS and open up your friends list and then find your friend card. You can see my friend code right here. Enter your friend code into this box. Once you've entered your friend code, you're now going to enter your ID0 number. To find your 3DS's ID0 number, open up your 3DS's SD card and look for this folder called Nintendo's 3DS. We're going to select this folder and then press F2 on our keyboard to rename it and we're going to rename it to My Nintendo's 3DS. Once you've renamed the folder, eject the SD card and put it back into your 3DS. Once you power on your 3DS, you should get this message right away. Your 3DS wallpaper and downloaded games won't show up when doing this, but we'll get them back in a second. Once it's finished, power off your 3DS and then put the SD card back into your PC. Now over on your PC, open up your 3DS's SD card and you should see this new Nintendo 3DS folder. Open the new folder and you'll see this one inside. Select this folder, then press F2 and copy this folder name. This name is your ID0 number. And then paste it into BruteForceMovable.com. Over on the SD card, find the new Nintendo 3DS folder, which just appeared. We're going to delete the new Nintendo 3DS folder and then name My Nintendo 3DS to Nintendo 3DS. Ensure you name this folder correctly. Back in your browser window, click the I am not a robot button, then click go. If your 3DS was turned off, when you press go, turn it back on. I'll turn mine on now. Once it's on, click this button here. The website should now give you a friend code to enter on your 3DS. Don't use my friend code which I have here. Use the one which the website gives you. To add the friend code, head over to your 3DS and open your friends list once again. Tap register friend and then tap internet. Then enter the friend code which the website gave you. You may or may not be asked to enter a name for your friend, but if you are, just enter anything you want.
you might not become friends immediately. It can take a minute or two. But once you have become friends, the website will update and you'll see this button. You should now see this continue button on the website. Press that continue button and then wait for it to finish. This can take a few seconds to a few minutes. And there we go, it's all finished. Now click the download movable.sed button and save the file to your desktop. Now back on my website, hit the save file button. And on this page, select choose file. And then choose your movable.sed file, which you just downloaded there. In the region drop down menu, choose the region which matches your 3DS. To find out your region, check your firmware version. If yours ends in the letter E, choose Europe. If it ends in the letter U, choose USA. And if it ends in the letter J, choose Japan. Once you've filled in those two boxes, hit the start button and then save the file to your desktop. And finally, hit the payload button and you'll see this page. Enter your 3DS model, if it's old or new. Then enter your entire firmware version, which you wrote down earlier. If you're not sure if your 3DS or 2DS is old or new, then look for the C-Stick. If your console has a C-Stick, then your 2DS or 3DS is new. If you don't have a C-Stick, your console is old. And once you've done that, click download other app. Then save the file to your desktop. And remember, if you need any help with any of the steps in this video, click this button to join my official Discord server. What we're going to do first is open File Explorer, click the View tab, then enable File Extensions. Then find this file. Select it, then press F2 and rename it to Payload. It should now say Payload.bin. Now let's turn off file extensions if they weren't on already. For this file, you'll need to install 7-zip or WinRAR. I'll use WinRAR to extract this file. Once you have WinRAR, right-click the file and then click Extract here. Open up your 3DS's SD card and copy the boot file, the Steelhacks folder, and the 3DS folder to the root of the SD card. Inside the Steelhacks folder, delete the put payload here file. Then copy the payload file into this folder. On the SD card, open the 3DS folder and delete the only folder inside, so that the 3DS folder is empty. Then open the Nintendo 3DS folder, then the folder which has your ID0 number in it, then this folder, then the title folder, then this folder, and then the folder starting with 000D7. Your folder name might be different, but it will start with 000D7. Then open the data folder and copy your save file into the folder and overwrite the old one. Now let's double check everything. The 3DS folder should be empty. The skill hacks folder should have a payload inside. And this file, boot.3dsx, should be on the root of the SD card. And the save file should be in the data folder we were just in. 
Now let's eject the SD card and put it back into your 3DS. And we can delete these files, we won't need them anymore. Now on your 3DS, open up Steel Diver Sub Wars without updating the game. And that's it, you've just installed Homebrew on your 3DS, on firmware version 11.11 .11 for free. You can see the Homebrew launcher is quite empty, there's no Homebrew apps at all. But don't worry, I have videos on my channel on how to install emulators, tools and lots more. I'll have two emulator videos linked at the end of this video like I said earlier. But now to exit the Homebrew launcher, press the start button and then the A button and you'll be kicked back to the home menu. And there we go, now whenever you want to open Homebrew, just open Steel Diver Sub Wars and the Homebrew launcher should open. If your Homebrew launcher ever crashes, hold down the power button for 10 seconds and then turn your 3DS back on. And remember, if you update the game, Homebrew won't work anymore, so definitely don't update. But now you have Homebrew on your 3DS and I hope you enjoy using it. And I'd like to thank Dead Phoenix for Brute Force Movable, the save file generator website, and the temporary replacement for the payload website. Very good work. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sardell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.